everybody. We're here from Single Track Magazine. I'm here with Hannah from Single Track Magazine. Hello. <laughs> and we've got Jason from Green Over Sports. Uh, Hi. Brought some very nice rocky mountains to the Single Track uh, head office. So we're, um, as you do when you get presented with nice shiny new bikes, you proceed to get them very dirty. So we're on a local ride just above uh, Topperton, so you can see town behind us, uh, Single Track Towers and. Um, I believe everyone else is probably still in the office down there somewhere. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but we've, uh, we've got two bikes here, uh, obviously two bikes in front of you that you can see here. These are both pipelines, so uh, Rocky Mountain Pipeline, which is a 27.5 uh, pl uh, plus bike. In the background, we've also got the Thunderbolt too. We'll have a look a little at that a little bit later. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take you through some of the details of these bikes. <coughs> Hannah and I are going to give you a bit of an idea of what they ride like, because we've just been uh, razzing about on them. And uh, we're going to give you the chance to ask Jason some questions, if you've got any questions about the Pipeline or the Thunderbolt, um, or what do we call it? The the Thunderline. The Thunderline. <laughs> <laughs> the Pipe Bolt. The Pipe Bolt. It's not quite good, is it? We're, we're, we're interested to find out whether the, the plus bike is kind of your bag or the Thunderbolt is more your bag. So in the comment section below, let us know which of these two bikes you would prefer to ride uh, and why, what, what kind of does it for you. So first and foremost, let's talk about the pipeline because we've not really had a chance to, to get our hands yeah. uh, do, grubby mitts on this one. So run us through wheel size, suspension travel, and what sort of bike it is, Jason? Well, Ross uh, summed it up nicely, actually. It's his simple, excitable friend. <laughs> we love, it's a great way to sum this bike up. It's uh, really fast, 150 mil travel on the front, uh -huh. 130 rear. Yep. Obviously being 27 plus, um, you know, it just rolls over everything. And yeah, admittedly the Thunderbolt is more sort of traily, a bit more nimble, but this, you can go faster on that technical terrain. Um, you know, everything comes with one by 11. Yep. Uh, this is the 770 MSL which is at the moment the top range pipeline that Rocky Mountain offer. Uh -huh. uh, this one, you've got the uh, Kashima Fox 36 fork in the front uh, and factory uh, Fox truck on the rear as well. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's talk about that little yes, guy. Yes, the Ride 9. At the moment, it's a set up in neutral, but this is your Ride 9, the famous patent that Rocky have got. You can set it up, uh, it gives you 1.8 degrees of of adjustment on the head angle. So basically you're changing uh, here, you're changing yep. the, lo the location of where the shock sits so yep. uh, for, uh, you can change that um, further down or up or you forwards or backwards. So top top of the uh, the chip gives you sort of lighter weight rider, mm -hmm. bottom of the chip is your more heavier weight rider, top right hand angle gives you a slack, bottom left is your, your more steeper angle and it really does make a difference. It's not a gimmick, it's proven, it's been in their fleet for a long time now and it's uh, it's it's pretty pretty amazing stuff. Very cool. Um, and as you know, before we've mentioned the other patents, they've got like the smooth link, makes mm -hmm. it really grippy on the climbs. This is the pivot here, which is 10 mil above the axle. Mm -hmm. Gives you a very parallel line with this pivot and the chain and climbing gears. It just makes it, as Hannah sort of found out going up the hills, at the climbs up here. As you know, in your terrain, it's really rocky, very, very technical, and it grips so well. The wheel digs into the ground just from that, you know, where that pivot is. Yeah, it's cool. superb. Um, and the other thing is you, we've mentioned before is the ABC that stands for angular bushing concept and you can tighten your bushing you can maintain it in, ah, in, in store grease ports and you've got grease ports yeah it's totally maintainable mm -hmm. you don't have to stand up for any tools or anything crazy it's all done in-house very cool it's really simple and it's half the weight of a bearing twice as stiff as a bearing um, yeah it's it's a really cool system and this one is the 750 MSL I like so, that orange. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, this is uh, the Rock Shocks version. We you know we, we offer in the range. So again, you still got the 150 mil front. Yari on the front. One, yeah, 130 mil rear. One by eleven. Uh, the Maxxis uh, recon tires on it still. What? Uh, how have you found this bike, Hannah? Because I mean, we've, we've been uh, on the trail for a little bit now. What are your, what are your thoughts on the uh, the Rocky Mountain Pipeline? Well, I kept up with you on a descent, <laughs> <laughs> which is it's kind of unusual. Yeah, we've just been done doing a classic kind of local pack horse trail. Very um, chattery kind of rocks, yeah, rock hits. Lots of rough stuff. And uh, yeah, it just, I think if I had more talent, I could go very, very fast indeed. <laughs> um, as it was, I was keeping up with you, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, it plenty of grip out of the, the Maxxis grip, tires. Really forgiving of uh, some of my line choices. It just, just keeps on going mm -hmm. and uh, keeps upright. So very forgiving. Yeah, I've yes, I, I've yeah. been sad that I've left my knee pads at home because <laughs> I want to go harder. Yes, <laughs> I want to see what it can do. 
It just means yeah. the technical trails that normally you'd have to really pick your line uh, with maybe a thinner and a tire off in the wheel it means you just go a lot faster on this so yeah. it's um as ross summed up earlier on you can you can be a bit stupid on it if you want to <laughs> <laughs> and that's not just down to the push tires that's the bike as well you know, yeah. i've ridden quite a few yeah. push bikes now and you know that that was noticeably um fast and also there was a, a trail up there that i've not a sort of level one with a few little yeah. technical ups in it and i've not cleared that before and i did today so well, again yeah. Well, Rocky, try and keep you know a nice short wheelbase. So don't try and change this angle too much here to give you that you know that that better bike for climbing as well. So the idea is it descends as well as it climbs. You know that's the uh, selling point of the bike. Um, it's very very capable. Very neat. So that's the uh, the Pipeline 27.5 Plus bike. Uh, so if you're digging what. Uh, Jason and Hannah are laying down. Let us know in the comments section below. We'll take a look at uh, this one here. This is what I've been riding. This is the Thunderbolt, the best name for a mountain bike ever. Uh, this it is, is a, and it is a Thunderbolt. <laughs> it's like lightning. It, it's it's, <laughs> a, it's a it's a <laughs> it's uh, so relative to the existing altitude. This is a shorter travel version. Yeah. But the geometry is not that far different. You know, it's fairly slack in the front, reasonably long yep. in the, the front centre as well. The, the glory of it is, again, you've got the ride nine. You've got it set up in the in the slack position at the moment. It's in the, the, the top the, right hand the, side. The rad rad setting. So for the rad setting, yeah. <laughs> for, so for the technical descents and the the, the the rocky descents in particular, you know, this is the perfect setting for around here. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's very it's super lightweight. It's got Rocky Mountains famous pipe lock, which is a very oversized bushing. Again, super stiff, way stiffer than a bearing, lighter, very maintainable. It also features the same grease yep. ports on the, uh, the yep. rocker link up here, so yep. you can uh, flush fresh grease through the, uh, the bushings at the top there. And this is the BC edition, so it's the British Columbia version, so it's a lot more aggressive. You've got the more aggressive tyres, the wider bars, shorter stem. Yep. So, you know, it's for me the perfect UK bike. Mm -hmm. You know, anything you can, you know, anywhere in the UK, throw anything at this thing and it will handle it. I'm, with I'm competence. Let's just uh, explain what this is. So, this is a little uh, remote lever here. Yep. This is for the, the rear shock. Yeah. And allows you remote access to open, yep. uh, medium, and firm settings. Yeah. So, I, if you want to get the camera down here, Russ, you'll be able to see that swiveling around. We well, should be able to. So, open, medium, and firm. Yeah. Um, that's the sort of thing that uh, normally you would have a little blue lever on the shock to activate yep. those three settings. But when it's up on the handlebar like this, it's so much easier to hit. I'm not normally a fan of remotes, but on this, it just gives you in that medium setting in particular yep. for the climbs. It just pops you up a little bit higher, firms up the suspension a little bit, helps you just kind of winch your way up those so, kind of smoother climbs. Um, you'll find that rock, even on the climb mode, the shock won't totally lock out and. Rocky like to put their, their shocks in quite a light tune so because the bikes are designed to really ride fully open on the climb so the wheel digs in you don't break traction uh, and that's that's again down to the smooth link pivot it's designed to ride fully open you know the, it's the traction is amazing on these things so like you said most people leave it in the middle you know and it's a great all-round ride mode yeah. somebody's asking the price of the Thunderbolt don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. No, no, no. Um, well, what we do is a frame kit this year, so uh, you can sort of what we do is sell the bike as a frame kit, so you can effectively buy the frame, the fork, obviously the rear shock, the dropper post, uh, stem and headset will come as a kit, and they start from around three thousand two hundred pound retail, and then you get a choice of whether you want carbon fibre wheels or aluminium wheels. And then you choose whether you want a Saram group set or a Shimano group set. So prices start from three thousand two hundred pounds and ranging up to about seven k. You can so kind of pick and you match. can really pick and choose. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Uh, it's you know you, you you're not limited to what you can put on the bike, and that's with the whole range. You know, including the, the obviously the rest of the platforms we do. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a unique thing we're doing. Uh, this year and it's really worked well so far okay so, well hopefully but, that answers that question there yeah. um but yeah it's this this has been so far a lot of fun to ride i mean it's it's kind of an ideal british trail bike i'm, I'm a big fan yeah. of kind of not necessarily having heaps of suspension travel maybe doing more with less so yeah. 120 on the back it's 130 on the front um efficient fast flickable but it's still got that sort of longer wheelbase proper 
chunky tires as well um, so you can you can razz it about and as you're saying the BC edition wider bars it's kind of how a lot of British mountain bikers would set up a trail bike anyway yeah, totally. um, but this comes out of the box like that so. you can throw it at anything you know mm. it's a wicked bike uh, yeah. but uh, but yeah the, th the thunder well the thunderline ride <laughs> <laughs> so let us know if you if you're into the uh, the thunderbolts so that's a 27.5 trail bike from Rocky Mountain um, or the pipeline 27.5 plus bikes, so a little bit more travel, bigger tyres. Uh, yeah, let us know. We, 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 we're interested to hear your thoughts, kind of which kind of fits your boat. So, anyway, <laughs> don't skew the results. So, uh, we might leave it there and we'll continue our ride. And uh, yeah, if you've got any further questions for Jason or Hannah or myself, uh, leave them in the comment section below and we will do our best to answer them for you. Otherwise, love the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Slick. Slick, Rick. <laughs> Steve, Steve, I wish. Can't press me. Can't press me. <laughs>